Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all spot on and thanks for watching the video. Now, I've been shopping. I've been to M&S and when I seen this meal, I got sad. I really did. Because it's a meal for one, a roast turkey dinner. And it's a Christmas one and, you know, I know there's going to be loads and loads of people who are on their own on Christmas Day. And I just seen it and I just, it was just, it saddened me. It really did because I thought about them people who are going to be on their own. Um, anyway, I've got to review it. We've got to see what it's like and I hope I can make it a good one. So let's have a look at this meal. And here it is, um, m and it's a meal for one, I, it just, it, I must admit when I picked it up, my heart sunk, it really did. Um, it's a roast turkey, um, British turkey with golden Yorkshire pudding, a rich gravy, pigs in blanket and veg. Um, and, and there is the serving suggestion, look. This was, um, it was six quid, um, six pounds for this meal. Now, it does seem a lot of money, but it, I mean, yeah, unfortunately, that is the state of the nation. Um, let's have a look, see what we've got. There it is, look. You get your two pigs in blankets, you get your stuffing ball, your Yorkshire pudding, your roast potatoes, your turkey and gravy, and your carrots and peas. Mmm, allergens there, look. It's got milk, wheat, and gluten, and egg. Is your allergens. Let's have a look at the nutritional information. If you want to pause that and have a look at that, go ahead. Uh, there are the ingredients there with all your allergens on there. Look, you've got wheat flour, wheat, egg, milk. They're all there. Roast potatoes, 27%. Um, turkey breast, 17%. Turkey breast, 98%. Suitable for freezing, little GB sticker there. Slices of roast turkey and gravy with roast potatoes, carrots, peas, cooked sausages wrapped in streaky bacon and Yorkshire pudding pork stuffing. We've just been through that, haven't we? Any more information? It says they're made in the UK with M&S Assure turkey and pork from farms in the UK and vegetables from more than one country. I think this is the saddest review I've done. I think it is. There is the, um, the cooking procedure. It says contains alcohol as well. Points to note. There is a, a fair process of um, a procedure of cooking it. It says use your oven. I'm going to use my um, air fryer because I, I want to try and get these Yorkshire puddings nice and crisp. I want to try and get this meal looking a lot better than it does in that container. We'll make a good meal out of it. It's m and I mean, got to be something different, hasn't it, I suppose? Or has it? And that's why we're doing this to find out. I don't know, if, if you know of anyone that's on their own, just give them a ring, give them a call. It's, you know, it's the least you can do, I suppose, at Christmas Day. It's, you know, it's a, it's a sad time, isn't it? For, you know, for a lot of people, it is a sad time. Um, so if you know of a neighbour or anyone that's close, you know, you might across the street from you, just give them a call. Just, just it, it'll make all the difference. I, I'm not going to, you know, I'm just, I just thought I'd mention it. Take it how you, you know, in your, you just take it how you want to. But I've got to mention it. I really have. Um, so let's, um, let's get this. And let's get it looking good. Right. I, I, I was going to start doing as it says, but I, I've just broke the seal and I forgot the pale seal test. So we will, I'll just turn this light off because I can see it flickering. I'll, we'll have a look. You've got to, you've got to you've, remove that bit. Well, that, that's done okay. That's passed. You've got to um, remove roast potatoes, stuffing ball, Pigs in blankets and Yorkshire pudding from the plastic tray. So that's what I'm going to... So that's basically all that in there, look. So that's what I'm going to do now. 
Uh, just looking in the bottom there, look. We've got an escapee. <laughs> the old ones are the best. Right, we'll do this in time. Now, what's the next stage of the procedure? Um, from uh, r Place roast potatoes on a baking tray on the middle shelf of the oven. Cook for 20 minutes. So I'll get them in the air fryer now. now I've put mine, not for 20 minutes, I put them in for 13 minutes at 180. Um, on air fry, so we'll, I'll, I'll bring you back when that's done. So having read the instructions further, it will have to go in the oven because this will not fit in my air fryer. So um, I'm just doing them for 15 minutes in the air fryer, the roast potatoes, and then you've got to turn the roast potatoes. So I'll transfer them to a, a preheated um, tray. You have to peel back, peel back the film and replace lightly. So you have to sort of peel that back and then put it back lightly. <laughs> I think um, over the turkey and gravy and vegetables, and then you have to place that on your baking tray next to the roast potatoes. Place the stuffing, which is there. Um, and the pigs in blankets on a baking tray alongside the roast potatoes and cook for a further 10 minutes. Ah, it's all coming into place now. What? I mean, after you've had a few beers, <laughs> you'd probably put it in the microwave. I, I probably would anyway. I'd be like, ah, I'll just put it in the microwave. But it doesn't say microwave cooking. Um, so, and then it says, place Yorkshire pudding onto a baking tray and cook for a remainder of five minutes. Go on, remove baking tray from the oven, allow it to stand for one minute before handling the plastic tray. Go on, what a, that is a, that is tough to, to work out for, for me. It really is. Anyway, I'm going on here. I just thought I'd mention it because it's... <laughs> so let's do the seal peel test on this side as well. Let's see if this works. Oh, look at that. Watch. Look at that. I'm happy with that. I think I've done it right. And basically all you do then is just place it back over lightly. Um, so obviously you just let in so it lets the sort of the steam out. Um, and then that'll go on the baking tray like that. And then you to place these on your baking tray like that. And cook for 10 minutes with your other roast potatoes that are in the air fryer at the moment and then after 10 minutes put that on and do it for another 5 minutes you're just warming it up aren't you so the spuds have done I had them um, for 15 I think it was 15 minutes in the air fryer and they've gone up they've gone quite crispy I'll be honest they've done they're looking pretty good so this all goes in the oven now for a further 10 minutes on the middle shelf at um, fan 160 electric 180 or gas 4 now we've got a problem reason being that these plates are quite a considerable size look and this dinner is going to look really really small on these plates so these I think are oversized plates they must be a foot across I'd be better off serving it on that really, to be honest. <laughs> and that's like a like a, a plate for Tiny Tim. And no disrespect if your name's Tim. It's had uh, 10 minutes. Um, you can see they're, they're getting on great these, look, look at that. I'll just turn them over, I've got asbestos fingers. It's just come out the, um, the oven. Um, I am quite cold, so my hands are, and, and that's probably why you have to sort of do that with it with that I'll just um right so what I've got to do now is replace move them over there is, is put that on there now the Yorkshire pudding and they go back in now for another five minutes I'll bring you back it's done long last um I, I've, I've dug out a Christmas plate look I'm going to serve it up on there I just thought you know it's a bit better than them white plates isn't it being Christmas I hope, um, I hope there's no copyright with that, old Father Christmas. <laughs> anyway, let's get it dished up. See what we've got. Um, so let's move that across there. 
let's get this open show you lovely people out there what we've got there's your your roast yeah yorkshire pudding um there's your little pig in blanket have a look at that oh i'll just put that there <laughs> i better move that on that I'll put it over here. No, oh, it's my mind. My um, my immature sense of humour. Let's have a look. So, I'll put that in there. No, I'll put it. To, I won't put it in there. Actually, I'll sort of try and. I'll try and. I'll, I'll try and fill the plate out. That's my plan. Um, let's get this up. There's your your turkey. Look, and your your carrots and your peas. I mean, you can always add to it, can't you? But. This is six pounds, remember? Six quid. Let's get these carrots and peas out on the side. So this has got to be amazing, hasn't it? It really has. If you want to push the boat out, sum it a little bit, um, you know, m &S, it's m &S. See if it's any good. And now we'll get, we'll get the We'll get the meat out. There's your turkey look. In my my old house, we used to go walk to the beach. It was in walking. Look at that. That's not a bad size, is it? We used to walk to the beach, take the kids, and um, there was a, there's a guy down there, and he in the back of his garden, he used to have turkeys. <laughs> I might have, I might have mentioned this last year, and we used to go past. And I used to go, I'll see if I can do it. <coughs> and then they'd all go, they'd all do it as well. There must have been about 20 of them. They'd all be doing it. It'd be, oh, it was, a, you have to be there to appreciate it. <laughs> so I'm going to get the gravy over it now. But that's what they do, turkeys. They do that. I'll fill that Yorkshire pudding up as well with gravy. Look at that. Oh, this is not just any old dinner. This is an M&S. Even got the old scare peas gone in there. And there it is, look. There's your uh, M&S Christmas dinner. All right, I'm going to get into it. I'm going to try these roast potatoes. I really, I maybe shouldn't have poured the... The gravy on them because it might make, make them soggy but never mind that's just the way it goes i'm just going to try little bits and bobs have a look at them i'm going to try the roast potato first <clears throat> you know mm. gone crisp on the outside yeah I'll dip it in that gravy. Let's get a bit of the gravy. The gravy's... Mmm. It's posh gravy, that. <clears throat> That's what it is. It's posh gravy. Um, they've, they've done stomach to it. It's, um, it's posh. <laughs> Let's try this stuffing ball. Now let's just get into this turkey now as well. Um, have a look at that. Mm. Mm, that gravy is tasty, I'll be honest. It's definitely tasty gravy. That what does it say here about that? Look, it just says rich gravy. It hasn't said how you make it, like, but that is tasty gravy. Yeah, it's probably got corn flour in it and all sorts. It's tasty. It is. <laughs> it's 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 right, right, let's just get into the let's get into the Yorkshire pudding now. It's gone a bit soft obviously because I've put the, the gravy on it. Let's try the let's try that. I mean I like cheap sort of stuff in me I pretty much don't like it messed around with I'm quite partial to really cheap stuffing mm. 
That is good stuffing. That is really good stuffing. That isn't cheap stuffing. It's tasty. Right, let's let's try the Yorkshire and then I'm going to get it all together. We've got to try these things. We're going to know if it's all cooked properly and it's all tasty. Mmm. The Yorkshire pudding's a bit of a letdown, but... It's still tasty. Nothing is not tasty. And that's what you want. The carrots are soft. If you like them hard, forget about it. They're nice and soft. I don't really like hard carrots. I know it's been all of a craze, you know, like lately. Well, not lately, but they always seem to just have them all like... So was it El Dente and all that? Well, I might be wrong with the language, but... I like my carrots cooked. I like them cooked. I don't like them just sort of like... So there's a bite to them. I want them cooked. I want my veg cooked. Mmm. <laughs> they are cooked. There's me pig in the blanket. Let's try that. Mmm. <laughs> it's lovely. It is tasty, I'll be honest. It is tasty. It should be as well for six quid, but it is. The turkey's lovely and soft and tender as well, and it is tasty, and that gravy is, is divine. It really is. I'm going to get a bit of everything now, because that's what you do, isn't it, really? And, and, you know, I mean, you can add little bits and bobs to it, can't you, yourself? I'd, I personally like a bit of mint sauce over my peas, if I was being honest. Look at that. Mmm. <laughs> it's tasty. It really is. It is tasty, yeah. I can't, I, I've said it's tasty about ten times. It is lovely. It's six quid. There's a bit of a process in cooking it. I think, you know, just do it in the oven. Forget about the air fryer. You can't, you can't get the container in because look at the size of it. It's huge. Do, go with the oven and you'll, you'll be a winner, winner turkey dinner. You know, so spare a thought. For the, and the homeless as well, the people who haven't got houses. You know, if there's a neighbour next to you or anyone around that you know that they're on their own, just can give them a knock. They'd, they'd probably be amazed, you know, and shocked that you've actually given them a knock. I, you know, I, I used to do the post a few years ago. I did it over Christmas time and... I always remember there was a few houses that I delivered to, and, and I delivered where I delivered. It was a very, it was the, the the posh place in Barrow. However, in a few of the streets, you could still tell there was people who were there were a lot of elderly and a lot of people that they were living on their own, and you just knew delivering the mail there that there was someone, maybe who were old, and on their own. You know, and it sort of resonates with you, you know, you, they're the things you think about. Well, they were to me, that's what I thought about. But, you know, what, what what can you do? You know, I used to sort of put it through and sort of make an effort like I was making a noise, thinking that they might come to the door. But you could see the mail all piling up. You just, you've got an idea, you have an inkling. Anyway... That is, it's a tasty meal, it is a tasty meal. I'm going to push the boat out, give it a go. I'm going to get into it now. It ain't going to get wasted. I'm going to wolf it down. So thanks very much for watching. But spare a, a spare a thought as well for people less fortunate than us. I'm not going to harp on about it. You can take that on however you want to. So thanks for watching. Take care, all the best, and I'll catch you on the next one.